an incarcerated individual at New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. If you would like to thank you for using the tourist, you may start the conversation now. Hello? What's going on, bro? What's going on, man? Not much, man. Not much. What you up to today? Huh? I said, what you got going on today? I just um, came out of anger management class. Okay, okay, okay. And I needed to because I came out of anger management class and then I went over to the dryer. And my clothes are still wet. They've been in there for an hour drying, so that means that somebody opened the dryer and didn't close it back, you know, so. And I, I was tired about that, you know, and I said some words and all that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, calm down now. So I came out the right class, you know, I was in the right class for you know. A lot, of, like a, um, a lot of the people, man, been they've been asking, like, what's going on with your brother? When is he coming back on? And it's a question that they want they want to ask you, man. That um, okay. about 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 your sentence, man. When you started off at um, when you started off at your first permanent, you was your first facility was Clinton, right, Rob? Yeah, Clinton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's speak about Clinton. As far as Clinton go, when you got there. Y'all make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, man. It's my brother on here. This part two. When you got to Clinton, bro, and I hear a lot of stuff about Clinton, man. When people I interview, how long did it take before you found trouble or before trouble found you? And can you speak on the situation that led up to it? And could it have been avoided? That was really the first day that I got there, man. You know, and I'm going to be honest with you. When you get there, you feel the tension. Like, you know that song, Welcome to the Jungle? Yes, yes. Like, yo, yo, I was so nervous. And you know I'm not a punk in no kind of way, man. But the toughest people put us where anybody goes in, you're going to be nervous. I don't care who you are, you know. You see it, there was a scheme, and it's like, it's like the, you know, the hyenas, you know, circling the lion. You know, it's just, that's just how it is, man. But uh, I got to that jail, and the dude I know from the streets, you know, he had problems with some dudes. And uh, I felt the tension. He was up on the hill by the TV. So you just got to that jail and the beef wasn't even because of you. The situations you got into while you was in there, was it because of the stuff you was engaged in while you was in there? Was was you mean in, in, in prison in general or you talking about Clinton? In prison in general, like the, the, all of the situations you got into where you ended up at Southport, you ended up in the box. Was it because of you was hustling stuff? You was what, could it have been avoided? Like what well, what was you into to to make those situations come your way? Well, I'm gonna be honest, like, no, brain and manipulate people to a certain degree where, you know, like, if you hustling for me, I'm not committing no, I'm not committing no violent acts. That makes no sense. I'm hustling and I'm committing violent acts, you know? Right. So I'm going to hustle. I'm going to get the money and you're going to do all the other, you know, run around and all the other dumb stuff, collect the money and all the other stuff. It's mainly because the way I conduct myself, like, I like, I think somebody told me one time I got, like, a thin arrogance, which I don't, I don't know. I've never seen it, but it's like, 
you know, like you think you're better than people. It's not that. I just don't want to get to know people. You know, I'm tired of like, yeah, where you from? Who you know? You know, all them jailhouse stories. I get tired of that. I don't want to talk about that stuff. So, right. A lot of times it's arrogance. You know. Yeah. And they say, okay, listen, he's quiet. He keeps himself. You know, he works out. So he's a punk. So I'm gonna go at him. You know. Right. And, and that's where a, a lot of times that's why I have the advantage over you because I don't look tough. I don't act tough. Right. You know. And when it's time for me to strike, I'm not going to argue, I'm not going to scream and yell, and I just strike. So, you know, a lot of my situations came, and then, you know, it, it, it came from just, there's dudes that I might know from the streets, you know, and he got certain beats when I'm with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if a dude got be like, this person killed so and so or that person might have did that, now I'm with them, so that beat becomes my beef now. And then you figure the dude let it go, I just something go down, but it doesn't, go goes jail to jail, and it just gets like, I'm going to give you more, bro. Like, I wasn't even going to say this, right? But, like, the situation that I had going on last year, I was in, right? Like, right now, where I'm at right now, these little, I don't even know what to call them, man. These little roaches, they want to try to start it. They bring it over here now, right? Mm. So, I was talking to a female friend of mine, right? So, she said, uh, I know you for years, you know what I'm saying? You're not a punk. What you do is this. If something goes down, you'll still be a man if you run. You know why? Because you're trying to run home. You're trying to get home. That's the most important thing, you know? Yeah. And it, and it, it, and it bothers me, man. And it, like, it hurts me, you know? Like, it makes me, it, it drives me crazy, man. So I, I, I was crying. I said, yo, damn, I'm trying to get home to my family. And you won't let me. And, and, it, and it frustrates me because they're not even worthy opponents physically, you know? I train my whole bit for stuff like this just in case it ever came. I'm saying I look for it, but it's like, Leave me alone, man. Let me go home to my family, man. Right. You know? You do, and these dudes got flat bits, so no matter what their situation they get in, they still go home to their family. Mm. Anything I do violent, the parole board hits me with two years. Two years. You know what they told me the last parole board? Why should they, um, why they should they de-escalate? I said, if somebody's coming at you, how do you de-escalate? Right. Like, you know, like, how, how do you sit there and say, okay, you count back from 100? No, you died. One, two, three, oh, uh, 199, 98. No, you'll be dead. I'm not gonna die in here. No, my mother's not getting no letter in the mail tomorrow. Her son is dead. You know? Well, her son's been injured. There's a time I've been injured in prison and mommy didn't get the letters because I begged the people, please don't send that letter to my mother. You know? Yeah. I heal up on my own. I go to Southport and, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, like right now, and it, it bothers me. I, I'm trying to get a John Jay. They just wrote me a letter. You know, they're gonna give me the interview with John Jay. Normally, when you have 20 college credits from years ago, they don't let you on. They don't want to write more than 24 credits. I got way more than that. You know, I sent you my um, transcript. Yes. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm in network right now. I just came out of anger management class five minutes before I called you, you know? Right. And it's like, yo, let's do, just no lie, man. I'm, I like it. I want to just tell these kids, like, listen, please, man. But how it goes in New York State prison system, if you got problems with somebody in jail, they call it. Like, when you get to the next jail, it's way to somebody that knows you. You have to do that just such, such, such and such and so and so. Word, then we should get at him. You know? But the way I move, I walk, listen, the way I walk, I walk fast. So if you walk fast, you're afraid I'm coming to get you. I don't want to do that though. I don't even enjoy violence so much. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it, it's senseless, man. Unless you have to protect yourself, I hate that shit, man. You know? Like, but yeah, man, and I, I didn't want to tell you that, you know, but it's, it's like, you know, dude's trying to get it going right here, and I'm like, I don't know, man. You know? It's like, my faith is being tampered with because I don't even, like, if there is a God, if there is an a, a, a Allah, why are you putting me through these things, man? Why are you testing me? You know? Yeah. The cancer I had, like, why are you testing you gave me? I had cancer, I, I overcame it. Why are you testing me with more and more things every every time? I just got to hit the last road board. I accept that. You know? Let me now, let me do this time. I just want to do my time without the extra stuff, man. That's it. You know? But it's like, it just, it's like, damn. And then in my mind, you know, the sick part of my mind and the deep recess of my mind, I say, you know something? An extreme violent act has to take place to make this go away. But guess what? If I do that, guess what? I stay here forever. This is what I got here. Damn. You know, one day you have to come collect my body and, okay, give me a burial and life goes on. I don't want you to have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? So what mm -hmm. I got to do is I got to just keep praying and I got to, listen, man, if I got to run, I got to run. See? But you know what's messed up about that too? Let's say somebody come at me, right? And I, and, I, and I finished them, I worked them over. It depends on what the CO's seeing. 
Because I can run from a person with my hands up and the person keep coming. And then once the CO sees it, then I can react. But it depends what part he's seen. Because he can write a scene that he's seen me jumping on a guy. And the trouble is still going to happen in two years. Damn. You know, they want perfection from anybody that, like, if you got life on the back of your bed, they want perfection, man, you know? And right now, I'm only two years past my minimum, you know? Right. Two hits, I mean, like, you know, it's going to be four years, like, you know? Right. But that's like, they have no integrity, so they can say that, you know? It's not about nothing. I'm, I'm smarter than that. You know, I know how to move, so I don't know, Zeke, man. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Everybody talking about prison, your man has his words. So, so if the person spoke to them and they say they're not going to do nothing, you saying that they'll go against that word and still do something? Of course they will. Of course they will. They'll try. They'll try. But see, the thing is this, like, I don't know, that's like, she's not in this environment, with me, but you know me, though, you know? Like, you know, can you remember that time in New York High School I had that fight with that dude? Yes, yes, time? yes. And I, and I pulled the shirt over my head and he copied what I did and I went at him and tore his ass up. Yes. I, I'm a thinker, you know? Yep. So I pulled the shirt over my head and he's like, I'm going to fight him when I'm a shirt on too. Like, why would you do that, stupid? Why would you follow my fight? Right. And then I did what I did, but in the end, I moved a certain way where in order to get to me, you got to come straight at me. There ain't no sneaky me. You cannot get behind me. You know, like, you're not walking behind me. You're not sitting behind me. You're not none of that stuff. So. They know they got to come at me straight up. And when you do that, I'm going to respond. But I don't even want that, see? I don't care, I don't care how I get labeled. I don't care if you call me a punk, a pussy, a bitch. I don't care about that. I want to be free. I want to be a son. I want to be an uncle. I want to be a father out there. The jail title don't mean nothing to me no more. They don't. They never really did. Yeah. I'm a bitch. Okay, I'm a bitch. I'm home, though. I'm home. Ron Soul, but I'm home. Right. I don't want to be, you know, Ron's tough and I'm dying in prison. Hell no, man. Right. You know? I was 24, I'm about to be 44, man. That shit is crazy. Mm. That shit is crazy. I don't even know what it is to be a fucking 20 year old father in the street, 24 year old father in the streets. Like, you know? Damn. I don't know what it is to, like, to raise my kids the right way. I don't even know. Like, you know, like my son, he loves me to death, man. He cherishes me, he honors me, and it, 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 it amazes me that he loves me so much. You know? Yeah. But I've been there. The service stimulation, like, you know, like, it's hard, man. It was it was a point, bro, when you was you stayed out of trouble for seven years. What was the key? Yeah, what was man. the key to that? How did you do that? How was you? Know you- why? Cause I was in I was, I was in Shawangum, right, and that's a jail. Shawanga holds like five hundred prisoners, right? Right. And ninety eight percent of the population is never going home. When you put somebody in that kind of environment where nobody's going home, guess what? Guess most lifers that's in prison they chill out. They don't want no more problems. It's like I know dudes that got like a life plus on you twenty five years. You know what he wants to do? Stay in population, stay out the box, and just eat good until he dies one day in prison. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you're around these, like, these little camps like this, you know, these kids, they just want to, they don't care what they do. Like, look, I'm going to show you something. One, one young kid told me in green one time, right? He said, I'm only 23 years old, so if I catch a new charge, you know what happens? I'll be 25 when I go home. I'm like, damn, that's your mindset, man. Like, that's what you care about? Damn. That's how they are. They don't care. So a person would like, this how we think, okay, most, a lot of life is in prison think this, hey, listen, if I go at this dude, I'm going to lay him down. You know I'm going to lay him down? Because no matter what I do, I'm going to get hit at the board no matter what he does. You have one minute left. He goes home, you know, so that's what it is. I'll call you back. I love you, man. I love you, too. All right. An incarcerated individual at New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Zeke, I'm sorry, I don't want to explain that to you, though, man. You know, uh, you know I can't keep you from me, man. I know that part. Hey, I, I, don't, I thought it was peace there, man. I thought you was at peace, bro. It is, man, but it's just peace. 
Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they kids? Are they? Are they young? Are they older? Yeah, they're young. Yeah, like you know, like you know, you know. When my son makes me feel old, he tells me that's old. You know, he's forty. That's old. You know, so like you know, they're in their twenties and thirties. But I'm saying mentally, they're little niggas. Like you know, like I, like when I see somebody who's little niggas, like mentally, because they're, they're not even thinking. You know, like you can't get your name up off me. That's I'm not letting that happen. You know what I'm saying? Right. I did this to Rob. I did this to so and so. I did this to so. You know, you're not you're not getting your name off me. You're not. Like you, because I'm like saying that the stuff you say you're going on with these young kids, but if something does happen, because you you keep on talking like it's just you, doesn't the Muslim community have your back? Yeah, no, they do. But the thing is, this I never worry about that. Like I never even depend on that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is how I do. This this is in prison. This is my monster in prison, right? Every person is my enemy until he prove otherwise. Gotcha. So just because somebody's my brother don't mean they're gonna go with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I already know, man. Yep, and do that no more, man. as people came home from prison, speaking about you, like your brother, man, he's—I yeah, heard all of that, I man. Is there a lower security facility that you can go to or you can't? Would you ever be able to get a lower security? Now, this is like the lowest right here. Okay. You can walk, like, you can walk 200 yards and there's no seals nowhere. Hmm. Yeah, Yo, this place has got hills on top. It's a mile and a half to the mess over. You know, so it's, this is the lowest classification you can get. It's like a uh, medium B or something like that. Okay. That's crazy, man. And, and you know what's crazy? I don't know how many more of those I can take, man. Damn. That shit hurts, man. Because, let me say something. You got people that come off state with gold, like a one or three or two flat, right? So they come off state for two years and they go home. And I just got hit at the board. I'm doing their bid all over again. Like, right, right. I, I got to reevaluate myself. I got to, like, okay, like, like when you get locked up, you go to county jail, you got to, uh, okay, I'm going to have a little schedule. So every time I get hit at the board, I got to re invent myself. You know, mm. okay, I worked out, okay, you know, I beat my dick this day, you know, I do this at this time, you know, you get tired of that shit, like, you know, the right. fuck, you want to come home and make love to him, you know, you get tired of fucking your head, you know, so it's like, it's just too much corny shit, okay, I'm gonna read magazines, we got the tablets now, we got video games, I got songs, but after I play the games and listen to the songs, I want something different. Right. You know, so it's like, it's just too, it's repetitive over and over and over and over, man. you know. And I don't want to become one of those old times that's like recluse in here, but I don't talk to nobody, but it's, it's almost getting to that. Like, I don't even want to know the wife's story, no wife. I just want to go home to you. 
Right. Are you in are you in a dorm, bro? Or are you in a cell? Yeah, I'm in a dorm. Yeah, I'm in a dorm. How how is how how is that sleeping in a dorm with no like you able to sleep? Man, I don't like that shit. I can't adjust. Yeah, my, my first time from a, in a dorm was I had like seventeen years in at the time, my first time in a dorm, you know? Yeah. And that shit was yo, I, I told him I can't sleep. I said, yo, this, you gotta get me to a health somewhere I can't sleep. You know, they said, Oh, that's getting ready for society. I said in that society, I ain't going to no fucking shelter, so how right. about me? Right, right, right. In a dorm, dormitory, you know, fucking shelter. That's all it is. I'm not going to no shelter, so this ain't getting me ready. 
you know what I mean, mingling with people, because, you know, so many years in the cell, I said, yeah, whatever, lady, listen, get me out of this year. Yeah. I said, nah, I'm then they moved me to the medium that had cells, you know, and then I was over there for a while, so. Yeah, man. Just don't work yourself out, though, so it has to, man, because, you know, I don't think this is the end for me. My story can't end like this, you know. Now, now those are some roaches, man, the camera, you know. My story can't end like that, and, and I'm not going to let it end like this. Like I said, if I got to take a punch or or just an injury, anything, man. Let it be, man. As long as I get home, yo, that's it. Is yeah. Is there is there people there at that new place you at that you you communicate with on a regular basis, or you keep your talk to a minimum? Gotcha, yeah. And I don't need for nothing, I don't want for nothing. I got, you know, full money, you know, so, you know, so it's like, it's just too many faces in it. No people got a hundred faces, man, and I don't got time for that, man. Right. But most people I talk to, like, I, I talk to the outcasts, like the people that think, oh, that dude's a weirdo. No, he's not weird, he's just different than you. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's just not with all the dumb, you know, jailhouse politics and trying to fit in and, you know, I'm going to look cool and I'm going to let my pants sag, I'm going to wear skinny greens. Right, right. These are dudes that pick their brains, you know. I talk politics, I talk economics, you know. These are dudes that's really, you know, doing things. And then you, then he'll show you a paperwork, and guess what? This dude's sitting on a $250,000, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the dude flats and showing off, he ain't got shit. You know, he begging his mom for money, you know. Or yeah. telling his baby mama to cash a wig check to, you know, to get to New Jordan. Right. Serious? I love you too, bro. I love you, bro. I'll send you an email tonight. All right. All right. All right.